CVS Pharmacy, Aquafina, the one and only speaking. <laughs> How can I help you? Hi, Aquafina. It's me, Gretchen. I was calling to see if I can have the day off. I have a meeting with someone who wants to be my manager. Your manager? Oh, girl, please tell me you are not cheating on me. Not a CVS manager, an entertainment manager. <laughs> oh, Gretchen, you still chasing that pipe dream? <laughs> excuse me, can you please tell me where the shampoo is? No, excuse you. Can't you see I'm on a goddamn phone, okay? Instead of worrying about where the shampoo is, you need to find some manners. Manners? Get you some, boo. Get you some. Oh, please, Aquafina. This really means a lot to me. <sighs> well, I guess you could have a day off. I mean, I was hoping I could have something funny to stare at and look at all day. But go ahead. Ooh, that nigga is fine. Girl, I got to go. Hey, boo. You need some help, boo? Excuse me, um, how long have you been waiting out here? I got here maybe five minutes before you did, so not that long. My name's Molly. Molly Singer. This is Molly Singer, your typical Hollywood hottie. Not really talented at all, but will do anything to make it on the big screen. Wow, that's one heck of a name. You must be an amazing singer. No. I'm not a singer. I'm really not even an actress. But I do other things very well. Oh, okay. Eat up, cat. We've got a very important business meeting to attend. Is that a real cat or a fake fur? I don't like fake furs. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Of course it's a real cat. What the hell is wrong with you people? Why would you keep your kitty cat on a leash? So he won't get loose? Maybe you should consider putting your kitty cat on a leash. How long have you been working in this town? I got a job at CES a week ago. <laughs> You're real cute. You know, it's really tough to make it in this industry. You have to be willing to do some work under the table. Under the casting director's table. Hey, Molly Singer. Ah! Just give me a few minutes, I've got a meeting with Gertrude really quickly. It's Gretchen! Yeah, yeah, whatever. This is Larry Steinberg. He's a big time manager here in Hollywood. Well, not really, but he says he's Jewish. So I think he might have the right connections. Man, nice hat, Mal. Cute top. Just give me five minutes, okay, babe? Whatever you say, get a boss. Arrgh. Who's the fake cat now, Tap? Come on, let's go. Granola baby, how are you, hon? For the last time, it's Gretchen! Gretchen Myrtle! Da -da 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 Come on, this is a place of business. Lower your voice, hon. You know what? I'm gonna leave the light one up for this shit. Uh-huh. Woo! These are the best cigars in town. You want one, baby? Oh, no, thank you. I actually value my life, so... <laughs> you know what? I heard that you are a pretty talented kid. Why don't you give me a little taste? Okay. Cause this is Dilla! Dilla and I! I never do this. I never do this! But I have to be honest with you. You are a star! Sign the contract. Oh, well, thank you, Larry, but I don't understand. What, what is all this? Oh, they're just some letters and documents saying I own you, I own your life, I own your rights. No big deal, babe. Um, okay, but I just... Listen, all the documents are saying is that if you book a gig, even if I didn't get you the gig, that you gotta give me 10%. 10%? Really need the 10%. Oh, they didn't pay you much? 
200 bucks. Mmm, okay, well listen. 10% of 200 is 20, right? Yeah, that's 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna need that 20 bucks, okay? So what I'm gonna do is put you on with my secretary. She'll give you the address. You can send the money there, okay? Give me one second, babe. Hi, this is the secretary. Yeah, you can send the money over to P.O. Box 199290019. Thank you. Hello? Did she give it to you? Great, honey. Awesome. I love it. Muzzle top. Now back to what we were saying. Well, what do you think, Dad? Man, this Hollywood thing is starting to get real crazy. You know, Gretchen. I you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna cut me off? I'm gonna stop. One second. Listen, listen, listen. This guy's pushed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so funny, Listen. Listen. So Gretchen Myrtle basically was created by me, my mom, and my dad. One day when I was really young, my dad came back from doing a show at BET and he had these really cool glasses. So I put them on and the moment that I put them on, my mouth just kind of went like this. And so then we thought it was really funny and my mom was like, you know what? Her name is Gretchen. fun to bring that character from my childhood into the Darnera show and yeah she's pretty much like an alter ego of mine like the nerdy side of me and the girl who has a lot of dreams and hopes and wants to make it in Hollywood that's a little behind the scenes backstory footage slash amazingness of Gretchen Myrtle <laughs>